Hello, my name is Val Kudu and I'm curator of collections at the Murakami Museum and Japanese Gardens in Delray Beach, Florida. Today I will be talking about how we grow a collection of artifacts in the museum. The museum opened in 1977 and since then we acquired almost 9,000 objects in our collection. It, they're grouped in three separate collections. We have an art collection which includes paintings, screens, uh, contemporary ceramics, uh, prints, sculpture, things of that nature. We have ethnographical collection, which are the old objects of daily living, which would be uh, samurai swords, garments, ceramics for everyday living, baskets for everyday living, utilitarian things, folk toys, and so on. And uh, we have the small collection, which is probably the dearest to our heart, of documents, photographs, and artifacts that belong to the people that were part of the Yamato colony. Now, most of the pieces that we have in our collection have been given to us. A small number we had purchased. When we purchase objects for the museum, we we'll look and try to fit it either for one of the upcoming exhibits or we try to buy one of the seminal pieces of Japanese art or craft that we believe um, every museum should have and especially we should have and it's used for overall education of our visitors. When it comes to donations, we uh, really rely on generosity of various donors and artists. Um, for example, we received this year a wonderful metal box by a Boston-based artist, Mariko Kusumoto, and it's featured in our uh, B annual newsletter. As well as that, we rely on institutions, and this was given to us in 1984 by the um, um, Japanese pavilion at the Louisiana Exposition. Now, we have many just individual donors that might bring one or two pieces, or we might even get a whole collection. We had people that gave us more than a thousand objects. So we really rely on generosity of people to grow our collection. And we have a number of people that have um, promised us gifts or promised us bequests, which is basically mean that we have a long-term relationship with the donor. Sometimes we help them acquire pieces and guide them in whatever pieces they feel the museum should eventually have. If um, you would like to contribute to our museum or would like to donate a couple of objects or funds to grow our collection, please visit our website and find more information there. Thank you.